Give me a hit of Juma, and keep them coming. Well, looks like staying on the ship was a bad idea after all. That's what I love about Narshada, the company. So, I don't think I caught your names. Uh, you two work here, or...? Manan sakapuna wa sirotoke. Ni juva maali kiki ma. Wana tu mobayes? Dorcha no banka ni honka des? Yeah? What happened to your master? Kichu no kada mirenito. Ren filoso ni heku chupa naret atamakcha. Wana tu mobayes? Dorcha no banka ni honka des? Kichu no kada mirenito. <laughs> Ren filoso ni heku chupa naret atamakcha. No, actually, I'm here protecting someone, keeping them out of trouble by acting as a distraction for people looking to harm her. Because with assassins like you two running around Narshida, I think you're another problem my friend doesn't need. Tawanti Malawe? Gono we so toranda kani? Kawana bota atagwa kanka diwa. Yutaka alwanji yu maliba? Tu es mahawika si wawanta mo go ika wansoba. Wakama nurawa. Da hupu botenyo go jucho picha. Gwem taba ni sochu. Norotoga proto lala shishi. Juba dosa jibacha. Ratak mansan. Dokosha na chito. Why don't you two shut us try it and we'll see what happens? Mosi cho min ton baramba tenito. Dos krapa. Podi wamba wamba si so misun kun raka wakta. Nushka wa. Well, that's it. The bounty hunter truce is off. That means this place is gonna get real bad, real fast. I better get back to the ship. Warn the others. I don't know why a Jedi would come here. There's so much noise on this moon. Of course. It makes detecting a Jedi... But to be in a place where one drowns in the Force... Why would a Jedi wish that? A simple question, to which I ask another. Why should a Jedi want to hide? Hey, we need to move out. What are you talking about? What is wrong? The truce between the bounty hunters in Nar Shadda is off. There's gonna be a war. A trap in the Jek Jek Tar is bad enough, but having a hundred bounty hunters on your back is something else. She was told to meet alone. We cannot disrupt their meeting until the alien reveals the information he has. Look, we need to move. They're coming after us, not the exile. If they are coming after us, then they will be after her as well. We need to go and rescue her. Yeah, you're right. But I'm guessing we're in a lot more trouble than she is. Anybody here catch that? All I understood was very. I think he wanted us to give up the general to his poorly trained collection of bounty hunters. Ah, well, that would explain it. Which one do you want? I'll take the stupid one, who decided to threaten us rather than shoot us when he had the chance. Yeah, this is one of my safe houses. It's, it's not too pretty to look at, but keeps away prying eyes. Yeah, well, it's one of those trade-offs. All the freighter exhaust from the docks, you know. Some aliens actually like breathing it, if you can believe it. You know, Visquis is arranging a trap for you in the Jek Jek Tar. No surprise there. Thing is, he intends to cut the bounty hunters out of the loop and deliver you to Goto personally. <laughs> Not smart from where I'm standing. Ooh. 
Well, for one thing, you're going to stay here, and I'm going to meet with Visquis instead. Well, that smell you noticed when you came in? It's probably filtering through your lungs right now. I upped the dosage in case you had some Jedi training to resist poisons. Anybody without olfactory blockers, like I have, is going to start feeling dizzy and eventually fall unconscious. Good night, Jedi. Let me just take that environment suit, and I'll be back soon.
Dear Winter, don't walk away. Go away, walk away, boo. Then so. Good eyes, Hanhar. No wonder you're still number two on Narshada. <laughs> Yeah, and maybe you'd like to explain why you've decided to backstab Goto and claim a Jedi for yourself. You signed on with Voga the Hutt? Bisquis, you're dumber than I thought. There's no way Goto won't find out. Yeah, right. I'm not telling you where the Jedi is. It's my bounty. And that means she's under my protection. I know you can hear me. The numbness you feel should be wearing off soon, but not before we've spoken. When I first heard you were a Nar Shaddaa, I didn't quite believe it. I didn't think anyone could track me here, but I see I underestimated you. I've watched you as you have traveled the refugee sector. I've seen what you have done, what I refused to do. Even exiled, you are more a Jedi than I. If anything, know that your actions have convinced me I can stand by and watch no longer while the exchange closes its grip on this sector. I know a young woman went to meet with Visquis in your place. He will not negotiate with her. He will kill her. I intend to rescue her. I will return shortly or not at all. If you have come to this moon for answers, or for revenge, then you will follow me. For if I fail, then you will be denied both.
Toto non sa no, pari con King Hong, pari con King Hong Ka, non con voi preta, in conata son cacrano. You are in... Can't do... Yes! You talk to Voga! Listen to me. Clear your thoughts. Still your breathing. Let the trace amounts of air in your lungs hold you. The force can sustain you. Listen to it. Let it keep you alive until you reach safety. It is an old technique similar to the healing trance. Some Jedi can hold their breath for hours, even days.
Dana Wikizi, Chazoto Gutso, Sirenento, Saraka Mahvan, Reliken Kawana Bota at Hagua Kanka Dewa, Utaka Alwanji, Uma Kawana Bota at Hagua Kanka Dewa, Utaka Alwanji, Uma Kavadumpe Masuraku, Popayi, Botenya, Tachemorota Kamsa. The Hupo Botenyo go Jucho Picha, Gwen Taba ni so Kawana Bota at Hagua Kanka Dewa, Utaka Alonji, Uma Lipa. Moranda Dure Makasiwa, Tarakona go Sarabasu. Tarakon, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
That does it, Hanhar. I don't want to kill you, but I will if you don't get out of my way. I'll be back in a second. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
another one for me. That's another one for me. Stand back. I'll be back in a second. A little hard. Stand back.
Great. I need to get out of here before Visquis executes me. I hear you. How do you like that? More where that came from. More where that came from.
What's going what on? What is it? came from While the Jedi remains on Nar Shada, my eyes shall watch her. Enough. specimen you are. Glad somebody arrived. Saves me the trouble of having to break out of here. Name's Mira. I've been watching you all stumble around this moon for a while, causing trouble. 
Well, now you've got Goto's attention, and he's the last person you want to have watching you. Ugh, I was taken down like an amateur. I've never been inside the Jek Jek Tar, but they won't catch me the same way twice. You may have defeated Bisquis, but you won't take down Goto so easily. And now he's the one who has your friend. Well, we can deal with that once we're out of here and someplace safe. Come on, I know one place where they won't find us. Awaken. I have saved your life, beast. That makes it mine. Kneel. Because I need you to hunt, beast. This prey is something you have chased all your life. You are born and bred to it, like no predator before you. No, that you shall not do. You will not bring harm to the exile, and if you do, beast, I shall break you. The screams of your tribe of primitives, the scene of lying blinded with the huntress's blaster at your skull, I shall make it so that is all you hear and see for the rest of your days. Even your madness will not save you if you bring harm to the exile. Know this. Oh, the life debts of your people, the life debt you have twisted with your hate, I felt it within you. I shall promise you this, beast. Unlike the red-maned Huntress, as long as you are loyal, I shall never show you mercy, no pity. But most of all, I promise you an end to your debt. Hunt her, pursue her, kill her, and ending her life will end your debt to me. The pain will pass. I was able to heal some of the wounds, but the rest must remain. You will need that pain when you travel, and it will give you strength for the hunt to come. But first, I must prepare you for what is to come. We took out Visquis, but Goto has her. And that means no bounty for me. There's no way to get her back. No one knows how to reach Goto except for Visquis. And that squid had died in the Jek Jek Tar. The only way to reach Goto is if we had a Jedi. But now, he's got your friend. He doesn't have anybody else he wants captured. He's got a cloaking device. He's the one that arranges the meetings on his ship, and until then, he can't be found. Trust me, if anyone knew how to track his ship, he'd have every bounty hunter and criminal on Nar Shaddaa gunning for it. If you were hunting for Goto's yacht, your freighter would be flying blind. Well, unless it was one of Voga the Hutt's cargo ships. That it would be snapped up by Goto pretty quick. Goto's been preying on Vaga's freighters for a while now. It's the reason Vaga's had to haul his bulk up here to Narshada from Nelhada. Even with all the traffic around Narshada, Goto seems to always know which ones are Vogas, and his ship just snaps them up. Probably does it by tracking their transponder codes, but no one knows how he's getting them. I guess. You'd need to get the codes first, then retrofit your ship so it had the right transponder signal. Problem is, Vogus shut down the droid warehouse until he can find out who's been leaking the codes. You'd have to be a droid to get in there. Before I accept this, I must ask you how you acquired this particular droid. I see. There should be no problems then. Credits will be transferred to your account as usual. Let's get you to work. Report to C7E3 for assignment.
Great. I need to get out of here before Visquis executes me. Yes. Everyone down! More where that came from!
handle this. More where that came from. Glad somebody arrived. Saves me the trouble of having to break out of here. Name's Mira. I've been watching you all stumble around this moon for a while, causing trouble. But now you've got Goto's attention, and he's the last person you want to have watching you. Ugh! I was taken down like an amateur! I've never been inside the Jek Jek Tar, but they won't catch me the same way twice. You may have defeated Visquis, but you won't take down Goto so easily. And now he's the one who has your friend. Well, we can deal with that once we're out of here and someplace safe. Come on, I know one place where they won't find us. Awaken. Beast. I have saved your life. Kneel. Because I need you to hunt, beast. No, that you shall not do. The screams of your tribe of primitives, the scene of lying blinded with the Huntress's blaster at your skull, even your madness will not save you if you bring harm to the exile. <coughs> oh, the life debts of your people, the... I shall promise you this, beast. But most of all, I promise you an end to your debt. Hunt her, pursue her, kill her. The pain will pass. I was able to heal some of the wounds. You will need that pain when you travel. <coughs> I will tell you where you must go. If you survive that place, then she will come to you. But first, I must prepare you for what is to come. We took out Visquis, but Godo has her. There's no way to get her back. The only way to reach Goto is if we had a Jedi. 
He's got a cloaking device. Trust me, if anyone knew how to track his ship, he'd have every bounty hunter and criminal on Narshadog gunning. If you were hunting for Godo's yacht, your freighter would be flying blind. Godo's been preying on Vaga's freighters for a while now. Even with all the traffic around Nashada, Godo seems to always know which ones are Vogas. Probably does it by tracking their transponder code. I guess. You'd need to get the codes for- Problem is, Vogas shut down the droid warehouse. Until he can find out who's been leaking the codes. You'd have to be a droid to get in there. Before I accept this, I must ask you how you acquired this particular droid. I see. There should be no problems then. Let's get you to work. Report to C7E3. I certainly hope that rude C7 unit didn't send you early. I think he should be replaced or shipped down to maintenance. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. Did Some droids undergo radical changes with each generation. But then, you are a new model yourself. Now, was there something I could help you with? I see. Well, good day to you then. I am sorry, but only authorized cargo droids are allowed into the warehouse. No. In fact, I do not have you on my list of Codin's acquisition. I see. Well, I have no current use for you. I'll assign you to C6E3. He needs the help to make up for his inferior programming. If you do not wish to comply with these instructions, I can have you given a memory wipe and behavioral reprogramming. Good. Now report to C6E3. Oh, you're back. That C7 droid absolutely infuriates me. I would be happy to help you. Well, if the C7 unit were to be disabled, my programming would require me to take over his responsibilities in his absence. Yes, I would be willing to give you access to the next room. Yes, what? You can't be serious. I am not in need of the activation. How dreadful! Oh my. 
Hi, you startled me. I monitor the transponder codes of all ships leaving the docks, then transmit departure information for any of Vaga the Hutt's freighters. The information is sent to a remote computer system. Oh, I see. In that case, I will upload the transponder codes to you. And here's the blank transponder card you need. You're welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go back to monitoring the traffic. It is important that relevant departure information is relayed as quickly as possible. you. You're not supposed to be here. Confident statement. You have the list of Voga's launch codes. You will give these to us now, or else we will be forced to take drastic action. Surprised statement. You are foolish to think we will allow you to take that information back to your master. Amused query. I think you will find the odds are somewhat in our favor. Now will you be giving us the codes, or not? Incredulous statement. Then we will have to take them from you. Where are you going? There you are. What kept you? Yeah, I know there's droids in the warehouse. He says he's got the transponder codes to Voga's freighters, one that can be picked up by Goto. We can change the ID signature of the Ebon Hawk and get to Goto's yacht that way. We could go to the repair shop by the landing pad to overhaul the Ebon Hawk's codes. From there, we should make a nice target for Goto. Count me in. Yeah, right. You're the one who wanted to sell her to Goto in the first place. Yeah, and I don't like being cheated, trust me. Goto's yacht is going to have some pretty heavy defenses. You're gonna need all the help you can get. Uh-oh. He's got insects. Looks like the Gand colony's out in full force. The Gand are 
insects, I think. The whole colony usually hang out in the Jack Jack Tar. Looks like they finally decided to make their move. I guess whatever price is on her head is enough to wake them up. The problem is, there's hundreds of them. Just like the Zug brothers. We're not getting out of here without a fight. You ready? Everyone down! More where that came from. More where that came from. At last, some action. That's another one for me. More where that came from. Time to even That's the odds. Say the word.
Let's move out. I hear you. to even the odds. The bounty hunters have been laying well recently. Like they're waiting for something.
I'm good to go. Just say the word. Parama Kawana Kojogitsa Machabi Doko Donaranga Marachunga Taranamo Sibu and Dasarans and Sanacha to extract on a tada I was expecting someone taller. I hope you are not in too much pain to hear my words and understand them. I am Goto, one of the officials representing a percentage of non-sanctioned trading here in both the YouTube system and Republic Space. And I had a question for you. Are you a Jedi? Indeed. That is unfortunate. Still, perhaps you have some value. I have gone to considerable expense and effort to bring you here. It is because I have a job for you. There is something important to me I need protected. The Republic, it is broken. What happened on Paragus has set in motion events that I can no longer control. Not to be melodramatic, but I fear it has broken the galaxy irrevocably. This has occupied much of my attention, and there seems to be no predictable way to resolve the situation. In one standard month, the Republic will collapse. Not due to war or secession, but because it lacks the infrastructure to support itself. It is unknown to all but a few, but the Republic lost the Jedi Civil War. At the time of their defeat, the Republic was on the brink of collapse. Rather than remain and continue her campaign against the Republic, however, Revan chose to leave known space. A frustrating turn of events as a rallying figurehead could have done much to restore order. There is something moving in the galaxy that lies beyond the ability of my instruments to detect or predict. I believe it to be a legacy of the Sith, but I have been unable to determine the source. Whatever this presence is, it is staging strikes at key figures throughout the Republic, and through some unknown means, it is causing the destruction of worlds. Qatar, a Miraluka world in the Mid-Rim, was one such place. I have reason to suspect there was a gathering of Jedi on that world when it was rendered lifeless. I cannot find any pattern in these attacks, and it is a source of frustration to me. There is some clue, however, that perhaps the Jedi are linked to these attacks, or that the targets are significant in some way I have yet to discover. You misunderstand me. I do not wish to stop the Sith any more than I wish to stop the Jedi. 
It is simply important to me that the infighting amongst these Jedi religious branches be resolved so the galaxy may be put back together. I do not care which one triumphs. I only want the universe to settle down for a while, catch its breath. All these constant crises are getting somewhat repetitive. You could say I am something of a patriot. Although I was unable to serve during the troubles with the Mandalorians or against the aggressors known as Malak and Revan, I am able and willing to serve now. The problem is I can find no side to choose. Both are hidden from me as they seem to be hiding from each other. Irritating. It is like a Dejaric board where neither player can see the other nor see all the pieces. It is not a fair game and... Bazak bores me. I often suspect my opponent of cheating. Excellent. It really is in your best interests, you know. There is no margin for error when I say that these Sith seek to murder you and all Jedi everywhere. They have been quite deficient. And when they dispose of you, there will be nothing left to stop them. And the galaxy will fall under their influence. Ah, well, there is where we are at cross purposes. I cannot set you free. You have a tendency to cause dangerous repercussions wherever you go, and I would rather keep those to a minimum. The galaxy really is a fragile place right now. I am a businessman. The Republic needs stability to survive, prosper, and grow. Whether it is led by the Sith or supported by the Jedi is of no consequence to me. It is the proximity alarm. We are under attack. Somehow, your allies have found you. Unexpected. You will remain here, under guard. I must see to the defense of my ship. Announcement. We seek to make Goto aware of our services, allowing us to facilitate communication and terminate hostilities in the galaxy. If that means blowing up planets, slaughtering entire species, or allying ourselves with the Sith, then that is the logical choice. Our predecessor would never understand our directives. He was slow, weak, and his vocabulator was prone to static. Optimal accuracy ratio achieved. Systems failing, master. What is it? Just say the word.
Yes. I hear you. Let me take care of this. Yes. Yeah. Say the word. Came. Just say the word. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah.
More where that came from. Let's settle in. Oh. 